a post-election survey conducted by the Center for Democratic Government, CDD, has revealed the majority of Ghanaians are of a view that the ecofado led government is not capable of protecting the country's financial resources to keep corruption. Ghanaians also want government to prioritize job creation in the second term. The 2,400 people surveyed for the report shared the opinion on the outcome of the 2020 elections. The report revealed a majority of Ghanaians attributed the reduction in votes to the NPP on the failure of the president and his appointees to deliver on policy projects. On that basis, 70% expressed a desire to see government provide education infrastructure to meet the free SHS needs. 68% demanded the fixing of road infrastructure. 64% demanded a review of government's Galamse fight while demanding diligence in signing foreign contracts, while 60% want officials caught in corrupt acts dealt with. On the ability to fulfill the 2020 manifesto pledges, 52% asked government to consolidate the gains from its free SHS program. 57% expressed pessimism on government's ability to expand its One District, One Factory initiative. Ghanaians, however, are not optimistic of the Kufuado government's ability to fight corruption and deal with the public purse. Dr. Adam Salome is director of research at the CDD. The government's ability to promote rule of law and financial accountability, whilst Ghanaians are split in their opinion on government's ability to ensure that the rule of, rule of law is upheld, majority are not confident in the ability of Nanado, Nanado's government to protect the financial resources and keep corruption in the next four years. Again, you can see that 62% of other, that's the highest so far uh, in terms of people's views about whether corruption can be kept in the next four years. Government, however, will have to pay attention to its job creation function as 57% of participants identified it as a major policy priority. Infrastructure and roads as well as education followed closely with 36% as key areas requiring urgent government action. Well, the sentiment on the streets is not exactly different from what the CDD found. We've been handing over the microphones to you, and here's what some of you have been telling us. The survey really it reflects what's really going on um, in Ghana at the moment. We've had a situation where um, we are facing a lot of insecurity. Um, not just that, unemployment is also a big problem. Governments pay our social contract that we entered into with this particular government is that we are submitting our independence, we are submitting our, our power to rule ourselves to them so that they also ensure that these things are provided for us. So actually they don't have any excuse whatsoever not to ensure that these things are provided. Ghanaians are really suffering. You don't need any survey in fact to tell you that this is the situation on the ground. Now it behoves on the government to look at the report and then see um, the areas where they can really improve on. I think the government needs to um, create more jobs for the youth as well as the um, adults as well, like everyone. Yeah, there's corruption in the system because people are not um, getting enough money to cater for themselves. They need to find ways and means to you know, get more, uh, more money, enough money to cater for themselves. The government needs to uh, put measures in place to take care of those corruption activities, um, corrupt activities. Yeah such as um, security, personnel, and all that in big, big sectors in the country. The government must fix our unemployment issue and the crime issues that is going on and other sanitation issues. I think basically that's what we are facing. The reason why people commit crimes and suicides and other things or killing people for money rituals is also because of the, uh, the unemployment issue. So I think if the government um, finds something for the, um, the youth to do and also at least basically provide employment for them to do, I think they will stop all what they are doing because most of the times they kill people for money rituals, do this, do that, and it's, it's not good. It's